what truly amazed me about this man is how quickly he connected with so many people. Throughout this process, I had board members pulling me aside, having to tell me about their Darko moment. Um, and after meeting him for just a short while, many uh, staff members called him inspirational. So I am very confident that he will have the same kind of connection with our audiences and with our community. And welcome to our next artistic director, Darko Treznik. I don't know if you remember Christina Ricci in that movie, Adam's Family Values, when Wednesday Adams tries to smile and it's just not natural to her and my name did rub off on me, my creepy name. <laughs> people, people expect something, you know, draconian, darconian. Um, so I was like, well, smile so that they know that you're really happy. So I am, I'm really happy. It's just, I'm not, uh, I'm a little bit like Wednesday Adams because when I'm really happy, I sort of have this really serious look. Um, and uh, the next thing that I wrote is, I hope that we will all create some beautiful memories together. Um, you can order your favorite movie on Netflix anytime. You can revisit your favorite book from a shelf anytime. Uh, paintings, one can look at anytime. Um, theater is different. It takes so many people for a work of theatrical arts to come together. Uh, it takes so many people working together to create a successful show. And every time it happens, it gives me a little bit more faith in the world. Uh, so theater is my religion, because every time you see a group, which includes everyone in this room and audiences, um, every time it happens, I have a little bit more faith in the world. Um, so, but it's different than books, than paintings, um, than movies. People work very hard in theater to create moments, and the moments last for a second, and then they become memories. And, um, and so what does that mean? Well, I think two things really matter in creating an art that becomes a memory. The first thing is putting great art on stage um, and making sure that people come to see it so that people leave with good memories, so that later in their lives they go. I was there when Mark Lamos did Pierre Gint, a uh, production that I feel like I've seen, because I've heard about it my entire adult life, uh, Hartford stage production of Pierre Gint that Mark did, uh, so that years later people remember the moment, and I'm shivering, uh, but uh, the moment when um, the angel of death uh, pulls off the wig off of Flora Goforth, uh, in Milk Train doesn't stop here anymore. And she gives up on all of the vanity. I saw the production in New York uh, a few months ago. And that's now my memory. I will remember that production that Michael directed, um, that breathtaking moment. So I hope we will continue to great, create great memories together, great art. Um, and I think the other thing that matters, especially in bad economy, is uh, there's art on stage, and then there are ethics and courtesy backstage, and there's just so much less patience for bad behavior in theater these days. And I mention that because I know that there are board members here, but the staff is also here, people who built the shows. And, and so I think both of those things matter, um, great art and great courtesy and kindness. So in the mission statement, the original mission statement uh, of this company, that I read, that I was provided with. Um, there are things about art and about creating serious art, and there's also that wonderful world, uh, word, amusement. That that's okay too. Given what's out there in the world, joy and putting smiles on people's faces goes a long way. So, so I think, um, I hope to bring that here too.